What's up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, Behind the Industry Blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices in the world wide web. That is Behind the Industry Blog. Before we get started, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And let's get it cranking with Million Dollar Meg. Meg the Stallion, she was spotted out in NYC with Tory Craig. If I'm not mistaken, Tory Craig plays for the Knicks or the or the Brooklyn Nets. I believe he played for a New York team. So they were finally spotted out. From what I hear, they've been together a couple of months. But now that they made it pretty much official the other day on the internet, now, what, what do you know? All of a sudden, she pops out with him. Right? So that's Megan Thee Stallion in there with her new man, Tory Craig. So the question I have to ask, what, uh, remember, she's getting ready to host the VMAs. She just inked a deal with Pepsi in the NFL for all season long. Mamushi is a big global hit and a global uh, viral phenomenon. So we have to ask, is this 2025 going to be Megan's, 2025 going to be Megan's biggest year? Let me know down in the comments if you think Megan is taking it in 2025. <laughs> this guy is so corny. I don't get, I don't understand. No, that's just my opinion, but I don't understand what people see in this dude. This dude is so corny. That was Kendrick Lamar. Um, still after the biggest year of his career, still has to attach Drake to his, uh, you know, it only one opportunity to win a championship, no round twos, because people going around saying, oh, uh, you know, Drake, Drake wants round two of, of the, the beef and Drake had, uh, I believe reposted something that said, I will win game two or something like that. Which is why I never wanted him to say anything about this beef. The beef is over. You, according to most people, lost the beef. You know, there are some people that say they believe you won the beef. Let's not keep going on with the beef. Just do what you do. Make hit records. That's it. You can't be in the beef. This, this is the only uh, beef that people, after it's been over for three or people still talk about, oh, yeah, you lost the beef. Like, Everybody else, when the beef is over, that's it. They move on. They don't want Drake. They don't want Kendrick to move on because they want to hold on to this uh, moment as long as they can because they know without this Drake attached to him, nobody cares about Kendrick like that. He proved it with with Mr. Morale. All right. If you don't want to believe me, all I have to say is when Mr. Morale, the Big Steppers came out. He had not been out for four years. If he was this popular, you would think after four years, people would be wanting to hear him, right? Why do you only sell 295,000 copies? If he's if he's this popular, he doesn't need Drake. You all know that no one would be checking for Kendrick Lamar like this if you weren't trying to be anti-Drake because that's the end thing to do now. And don't give me all this stuff about, oh, people still were checking for Kendrick. No, they weren't. Not like this. Not like this. So he's the, that was his little ad, you know, for his acceptance of the Super Bowl. And we're going to close it out with the notorious B.I.G. and this long going rumor that he had a transgender in his video for Big Papa as the lead lady. Also, this same uh, person was in. Flavor in Your Ear remix, which was a Bad Boy uh, production, and also his song Warning, right? A lady named Katanya Douglas has come out. Now, remember, it was going around the internet that this woman's name was Tamika or Shamika, and she had got killed in a relationship once by a man who found out that who was in a relationship with her and found out that she was or, or originally a man. Her name is Katanya Doug. She comes down, she says, I am so tired of seeing these posts online. This is my cousin. She is a woman and always have been a female. 
one of our grandparents or siblings. I don't know who started this rumor, but it's wrong and very ignorant. She says her name is Aisha and she's a woman. She is my cousin. She also has about two or three different pictures of Aisha online. Uh, she's saying that she um, she notified Choke No Joke because she's saying this is where she heard the rumor. She said she notified Choke No Joke to try to tell him to that he needs to look into what she's saying, and she said he blocked her. That's what the lady's saying. So there's a lot of people in the comments that, that know her, and they're, and they're saying... You know, we can't even believe this has been going on. A lot of them people, you know, from the 90s or whatever, a lot of them aren't on the internet like that. And especially Twitter, you know, especially if they're not in the industry, not a lot of people are on Twitter like that. And they were saying, you know, there was one girl saying that she's getting mad, getting ready to marry this girl, Aisha's um, uncle or, something like, or brother or something like that. So, and they're saying that they're going to start thinking about legal action for everyone who is posting that this woman, Aisha, is a transgender. Now, I, you know, I met, uh, message choke, no joke, uh, I'd probably say two years ago when I saw him saying this, and I, and I, told him, yo, bro, I don't think that that's true. Um, from what I hear, you know, she has, is a woman and she's still alive. And she used to dance in a strip at a club called Cinderella's. Now, Choke, you know, has his own sources. I have my own sources. So, you know, according to him, his sources told him that that was a transgender. So I'm not going to say Choke is lying. You know, he's that's what he believes. But I remember telling him, I think the other one in the in the video, her name may have been Shamika, and maybe she is not with them no more. But the one in the video, if you go back to the Big Papa video, the one in the video near them that came and used the men's urinal, and this girl, they're two different girls, Right? So, this lady, Katanya Douglas, what I'm looking to see within the next week or so, I want this Aisha to come on video and say, you know, all she'll do is come on video and say, yeah, I'm the girl from the Big Papa video, you know, I am not a trans, you know, I'm alive, and I wish people would stop printing that story. If I see people continue to print the story... I am going to take legal action to see what I can do because this is messing up my life. You could say if it, if she might be with somebody and they may see this and be like, hey, what's going on here? This thing's saying you're transgender. You know, that could really mess with somebody's personal life. If a person is seeing somebody with million, you know, with a million subs or with three, four hundred thousand subs and they're saying things and Two million, three million people are commenting on it. That person may say, oh, man, is this true? You're not really a woman? You know, stuff like that. So I'm looking to see. I want um, this woman, Aisha, to come on and state that, listen, I'm a woman. I was in that video, but and, I, and I'm alive. So y'all let me know down in the comments what you think, you know. LL Cool J has gotten dragged into it, saying that LL Cool J said he, she, and the, LL Cool J did not say he, she. He said, is she? She didn't say he, she. Is she is something they used to say in Queens. If you're from Queens, you'll know what he's talking about. He did not say he, she. And, and to be honest with you, if they're trying, if they're back in the, in, in the nineties, it wasn't cool to be gay like how it is now. Back in the nineties, if you were gay, you didn't want nobody to know, right? So he definitely wouldn't come on a record. Let's just say she was a a, a, a TG. 
He's not going to come on the record and let everybody know, hey, he, she, you know, I mean, use your head. Why would he do that? And the girl's dancing behind him and we got a hand on his shoulder up, up in the video. Why would he do that? Why would he say he, she, and then let Hub dance on him? Like, like y'all have to stop wanting negativity to be true so bad. <laughs> he didn't say that. You know, again, as far as choke goes, he said he, he got from a, his source said it. You know, so if they're wrong, maybe his source was wrong. I'm not going to necessarily say he was wrong because he did say, you know, someone told him. Right? So... This uh, girl, Aisha, if you're out there, I hope you come forward and clear this rumor up because, you know, if she is not transgender, I think that's messed up that people continue to go around and say, if, if, that, if she comes out and says, I'm not, and I'm alive and setting the other, then people should stop putting that on her because you never know what type of problems it's causing for people in their personal life. So... It's your boy Heaven Hollywood. Y'all let me know down below what you think. Um, you know, I have always heard, even going back a few years ago, that this girl was a stripper. And she was in other videos. You know, she was in a Slick Rick video. Mistakes of a woman in love with other men. So, um, y'all let me, let me know down in the comments. Do you believe that this woman is transgender and this person is lying? Or do you believe, um, what's her name? Do Douglas, Katana, Katana Douglas. Let me know down in the comments. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.